we're going to be talking about a case study related to cybersecurity today. And especially the second part is going to be a bit more interactive, so the first part is more lecture type, and the second part uh, I'm going to rely on your input as well. It's also important that you actually recognize the fact that a crisis is happening, which maybe sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how often companies or sometimes even countries don't actually want to recognize the fact that something's going hardly wrong. Why don't someone maybe tell me why these males are already kind of looking uh, a bit fishy? Like, how would you hopefully recognize that it's probably not the best idea to click these links? I'm gonna start a, a kind of a small simulation about what happened. They want money, but they're either threatening to publish the data online. So what are we going to do? I think in reality, I think most businesses do actually end up paying. Right? You could say, say that nobody should pay any ransom because then doing the ransomware attacks uh, the, then the criminals are a lot less motivated to do the ransomware attacks. So what we're trying to do is not only educate, but also implement kind of steps that go beyond just having people watching training videos. If you're working in IT or something, then obviously what you need to learn is different than what some receptionist, for instance, needs to learn.